Here's something you don't see every day. <laughs> Whippy Goldberg, and everybody knows that Whippy Goldberg is, has gone woke as fuck, much like very many other people that are still within the mainstream media. You know, it was either go, go woke, or, you know, you're off the shore, you're fired, or you're cancelled, and all that type of stuff. You can't get a job in media anymore. Uh, however, it seems to have happened to Whippy Goldberg, you know, the famous phrase... Uh, it, from Pokemon, it hurt itself in its confusion. Whippy Goldberg suspended from The View after saying that the Holocaust isn't about race. A talk show host will not appear on the show for two weeks as Network ABC asks her to take time to reflect and learn. I'm going to take this time to reflect and work on myself and become a better person. A US talk show host and actor Whippy Goldberg has been suspended from The View for two weeks for saying that the Holocaust isn't about race on Monday's episode. Her suspension from The View was announced on a statement released by US network ABC News on Tuesday night after Goldberg issued a public apology. Effective immediately, I am suspending Whippy Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. Kim Godwin... <coughs> well, there was some bass to that one, pardon. Uh, President of ABC News wrote in the statement, While Whippy has apologised, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organisation stands in solidarity with her Jewish colleagues, friends, family and communities. Goldberg has yet to comment on her suspension. Uh, Variety reported that the decision to suspend Goldberg was made in consultation with the highest tiers of management at Disney, which was ABC News. Oh, don't make the jokes. Don't make the jokes. Uh, Goldberg, um, I'm amazed that... I'm amazed that they actually suspended her way of last name. Like, uh, no, no. Uh, made the comments during a discussion about a Tennessee school's board, school board's decision to ban the Pulitzer Prize winning Holocaust graphic novel. Mouse, I'm actually, I'm actually about to do a video on that one too. Uh, let's be truthful. The Holocaust isn't about race. It's not. It's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. These are two groups of white people. <laughs> he said... <laughs> She said on The View on Monday, she continued, you're missing the point. Let's talk about it for what it really is. It's about how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, Jews, everybody eats each other. The Auschwitz Memorial and StopAntiSemitism.org are among organisations that have condemned her comments with Jonathan Greenblatt from the Anti-Defamation League, I the fucking ADL, calling her comments dangerous. Yeah, the ADL, those... Uh, those are bastions of correct factual information. The ADL does not in any way use hyperbole, lies, massive overreaches, exaggeration, or any other things like that to get its point across. Uh, the Nazis regarded Jewish people as an inferior race and a threat to Aryan Germans. The racist ideology was used to justify the annihilation of anyone with Jewish heritage. Racist ideology, like uh, there's a few other things that Whippy Goldberg says. Uh, regardless of their religious belief and practice, Hitler himself described Jewish people as a race, not a religion, in Mein Kampf. I wouldn't know, I haven't read it. You seem to have, though. Uh, in a statement posted on Twitter the same day, Goldberg offered her sincerest apologies. She wrote on today's show, I said the Holocaust is not about race, but about man's inhumanity to man. I should have said it is about both. I stand corrected. The Jewish people around the world have always had my support, and that will never waver. I am sorry for the hurt I have caused. After her apology, Greenblatt publicly thanked Goldberg for acknowledging the Holocaust for what it was, and then appeared with Goldberg during the start of Tuesday's episode of The View, during which she again apologised. Now, this, here's, here's the problem though. Like, we've spoken about this a lot of times before, but when you are woke, when you are woke and you're part of, you know, you're in the public eye, it could be anything from a bread tuber to a mainstream TV host like Whoopi Goldberg, you are permanently walking on a tightrope. And underneath that tightrope are the angry piranhas that are your audience, right? They are waiting for you to fuck up. They are waiting for you to... They're waiting to correct you on something. They're waiting to guide your thinking if you say something that is unsavory. And if you say the wrong thing, you will fall into the piranhas. And you need to apologise to all of them as fast as you can before they start taking little bites out of you. And for me, that's no way to fucking live. That sounds like a fucking miserable existence. I like being able to say whatever the hell I want. If people don't like it, yeah, well, tough shit. Tough shit. Right, that's that's what I think. 
That's what I think. I'm not apologizing. I'm not leaving. Suck my dick. Right? But that's why in our world, it's a lot easier to say what you think and say what you mean because their audience, we, we don't care about them. Like, oh, no. We, we fucking hate you, cool. I'm not walking over your tightrope. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not here to fucking entertain you. These people are, and these people are living a miserable existence where they have to constantly walk on eggshells and being extremely careful about the things that they say. And it's just, honestly, I just think it's fucking miserable, and here's another example of it happening, and it happened to fucking Whoopi Goldberg, of all fucking people. But yeah, um, I just think it's funny. Like, uh, I don't like anyone getting fired, I don't like anyone getting cancelled or losing their jobs or stuff like that. But, I mean, Whoopi Goldberg only gets suspended for two weeks. Gina Carano will get fucking ultra cancelled and banned from everything. I'm just saying. <laughs>